So, what you doing? Instrumentalist, producer, arranger, funny guy. What is that thing you're playing? This is known as a violin. Mine's a little bit oversized. Most violins have four strings, and this one has five strings. So uh, people call it, would call it a viola pomposa, technically. What does the fifth string do? Usually, if you play a violin, you're, you know you're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna be playing some notes like, and then and eventually you're gonna you're gonna feel tempted to go upstairs. Some of us have opted for is instead of venturing up into the attic, we just have dug out a second basement. Oh. So when you're feeling a little bit cramped. And you wanna and you wanna get around a bit more, you just go downstairs to the down downstairs to the lower downstairs. Yeah, so what is the tuning of a violin? Well, you can change it up a lot. So usually it's just tuned in in, in open fifths. But you can you can you can change it around a lot to um here's here's one. This is a this is a common like uh, Norwegian tuning. <laughs> the violin a little myself these days. Maybe, maybe we could jam a little. Let's jam. Yeah, hold on, I'm gonna get my bow. I'll be right back. Oh, oh good, good. Hold on, I just, technique, bow, what is bow technique? I think you're doing it, you're doing a pretty good job to be honest. Um, you might want to, you might want to get your, see if you can get your, one of your molars uh, a little bit around, Closer to the back, yeah. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Oh, great. Like this one. Now you're gonna want to get your your and then your and then your uh, your lower uh, bicuspid uh, around the around the, the 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 grip part there. Oh yeah, there you go. Like that. Shape? And now your uvula, you're gonna want to wrap that around the around the the hairs at the front. So if you could just. <laughs> yeah. No, no, not your tonsil. So you're. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. Okay. And then you know, dude, this is a traditional sock uh, song. Okay. And it, it, it originates in Sockville, uh, not in New Brunswick, but the other Sockville. You got to study with Senorita Sock, who studied with Sir Sanda Sola Sock. And this is, they actually composed this piece together. As 
I'm playing, I'm doing a little tap dancing on these uh, on these gas pedals. Just like you're driving a, you know, when you're driving a semi truck and you got the, you got to start double clutching. Very organized cables, I have to say. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh yes, thank you. If you had a superpower, what would it be? Maybe one day, once I have, once I have enough of these video calls, I can have a conversation without looking up in the corner at my own face. And that is a superpower I would love to have. What is a producer? Ultimately, just a good listener. Because you're listening to the sound coming out of somebody's voice and the sound coming out of their instrument, but you're also trying to listen to the sound in their head. And if there's ever a difference between the sound in their head and the sound coming out of their instrument and their voice, or the sound coming out of their band, then it's your job to make sure that you can make the sound that's in their head come out onto the uh, coming as the sound that comes out of the speakers. Wanna know what I think that sounds like? What does that sound like? A uh, super power. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh. <laughs> Can you suck the sock? <laughs> <laughs>